and welcome to today's video on my channel, which is going to be all about how to get your hair from looking something like this to this. Something a little bit more professional and polished, very nice looking if you ask me, very feminine, doesn't make your head look like an egg, you know, all of that good stuff. So if you're here to learn about how to get this hairstyle, the twist from front to back, then you are in the right place, and I hope you enjoy. Alright, to get started, I went ahead and brushed out my hair, which is why it looks so poofy. I have wavy hair, and this is what happens when <laughs> you brush it. Um, so that would be the first step, obviously. And then also to part your hair wherever you desire. I do recommend using a needle comb, what is this called? Something with a very fine point to get a very straight, clean part. And then you're also gonna need your bobby pins, hair ties, and hairspray or hair gel if you prefer. But other than that, let's get started, shall we? Uh, firstly, I do think this style will be a lot easier for people who already know how to French braid their hair. Just because it takes a little additional motor skills to really get the twisting method down, and that's kind of similar to French braiding, so I feel like it'll be a little bit easier if you know how to do that. But I'm assuming that you don't know how to do anything to your hair, and I'm going to instruct you as such. So that being said, uh, firstly, I think what will make your life a lot easier is understanding how the twist works and to learn that i'm going to do a little practice with you so if you're following along i suggest you are also doing your hair and trying to learn this so before we even try to do the style i want to explain how the twist works so go ahead and take two chunks of your hair and side by side and also i apologize in advance if i'm not looking into the camera i have my viewfinder here and a mirror down there so you've got your two stri strips, strands? Yes, you've got your two strands of hair. Okay, so ultimately we want the twist to go away from our face, right? We want it to be in this direction, pulling backwards. But you see, if you just twist the hair, not much is happening except for a tiny little twist. What we want it to look like is a rope. I think maybe that's the official name, is like a rope braid. And so, the twisting method that I'm going to show you just thickens the strands a little bit and makes it much more easily identifiable as a rope, I suppose. It just makes it look a little bit more crisp. So, in order to get that look, you're gonna start with your two strands of hair, side by side, okay? And in order to really separate the strands and make them look like that chunky rope, you want to twist them in the opposite direction of which you are styling them. And what that means is if you are styling the hair away from your face, you want the twist away from your face, you need to twist these strands in opposition. So that just means twist the strands towards your face. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm twisting them like this, forward, forward, forward until you have just one nice little twist. Sorry, my hands got a little caught there. Just twisting them forward until you've got two strands that are twisted all the way up. Now, hold on to the bottoms, make sure they don't lose that twist, and twist the two together backwards in the exact opposite direction you just twisted them. And if you keep it nice and tight, it's going to assist in having that nice, chunky rope appearance. Okay, so you can style your hair just like this if you want. It makes it a little easier. You can just pin it back into a bun or into a ponytail or braid. But the way I do it is uh, incorporating the French braid method as well so that it lays flat against the head and it's not a separate twist. So let's take it one step further and make it a little bit more complicated, shall we? Firstly, if you do this, uh, not necessarily wrong, but in a way that the twists aren't pronounced enough, your twist will probably end up looking something like this, where it's like flat against the head, which isn't a bad thing. It's hard for me to not twist towards the head because like that's what I'm used to. If you have uh, something like this, it's not necessarily bad or wrong, but the twists 
that we just practiced aren't pronounced enough to stand out as a rope all the way down from the forehead to the back of the neck. So let's practice it in order to get that look. You're going to start similarly to as if you were French braiding your hair. So instead of three strands though, you're going to be using just two. So I start by using my finger to grab two strands of hair, okay? And right off the bat, I'm gonna start twisting forward towards my forehead because I want the twist to move backwards towards the back of my head. So in twisting them forward and then pulling back, that's my first move. Should I zoom you in? So essentially what I just did is I have my two strands, which I have twisted forward, okay? And then I twist them back. That's the first move. Now you see here, I'm holding one twist underneath. I'm going to use my finger to scoop up some extra hair and pop through to grab that strand. Make sure I twist it forward again and pull back. So what I like to do is once I pull back and I grab the other bottom one, I do an additional twist here. That way it's really tight and it really stands out when you do the whole thing together. So again, I just twisted that top one. Now I have the bottom, which I will scoop up some more hair with one finger, pop through, make sure it's clean. You don't have any other wispies in there. So with that bottom new hair strand that I have, twisting it forward and pulling it back, switching the hair between the hands, give it an additional twist right there. Scoop up some more hair with the bottom strand, give it a twist forward, switch directions there, and give it another twist. So do you see how already we've got a thicker appearance of a rope as opposed to just one tiny little twist. So that's what we're going for. Now things that I look for as I'm doing this is making sure the top here is clean and looks like it's being incorporated well into the twist. So I try to be um, aware that when I grab more hair, it comes almost from the top there. Do you see that? How it came from here down and then Twist, twist. Now once I get to a certain point, usually one pull behind the ear, I do what we did at the beginning and I twist them forward and then back. Twist them forward, back, like this. I hope this is making sense. Until I have something like this. You can imagine when you pull it back into a bun, that's what it's gonna look like. Now, I do this on both sides of the head. So what I do <laughs> with this braid, or rope twist, I suppose, to be honest, what I usually do is hold it in my mouth while I do the other side. But I guess that's kind of gross. For today's sake, I will go ahead and put it in a hair tie <laughs> while we do this so that I can show you on the other side. So, starting from the top, grabbing a small piece, and one more right behind it. Again, we're gonna twist away from the head, but first you wanna make sure that they twist forward so that you start off properly. So they're twisting forward. Now I go ahead and twist them on back. With this bottom strand, I scoop up a little bit more hair and twist it forward before pulling it back and giving it an extra twist. That extra twist is really what helps here. Scooping a little more hair with the bottom strand, twisting it forward, twisting it back, and giving it an additional twist. Now, another thing to be weary of, wary, weary? Another thing to keep track of is how you are pulling the hair. So what I mean by that is if you're pulling your hair too horizontal, it might look awkward and like way too up high. So I try to really pull the hair 
down so that it scoops behind the ear. So I'm gonna do maybe like one or two pulls here. Grab a little extra hair, give it a small twist, switch the hands, give it an extra twist or two. I'm gonna do one more because as you can see, I have this free standing hair. I want to make just this flat right here. So that's the chunk of hair I'm gonna take. That piece right there. You saw that? Now this is what's left freestanding and this is gonna be tight. So with that extra hair, twist it forward, pull it back, switch hands, and then continue the twist. As you're twisting, don't just be lazy and do like one of these because it's not gonna look as good. Like it's not bad, it's not bad. But you can really make it chunky. I'm sorry I'm using that word, I don't know what else to call it. Twist forward as you pull back. Sorry, the camera stopped recording there. So my hands are moving in a way <laughs> that are twisting the hair. Boom, boom. Do you see how much chunkier that is? That's what we want. All right, so I've got my two twisties. I'm gonna take this one out of the hair tie because we don't need that anymore. Boom. Now what I do here is simply scoop it into a bun in the back of my head. Okay. And tie it. Get that out of there. Tie it at the base of my neck. Maybe a little bit higher so that it's not hitting my collar. Whew. Let me zoom you back out again. Okay, so now what we are left with is a nice clean twist at the front of the head that scoops into a bun at the back. Now, with this new guidance, you might be able to just leave it in a ponytail. Now, excuse me if my chair squeaks. <laughs> what that's gonna look like is something like so, which isn't bad. But another step I like to add into this hairstyle is basically, I like to make it look like the hair on the back is completely smooth and flush across the crown of my head. I don't like it when there's like an obvious line of demarcation, if you will, where it's like the hairstyle ends and then the extra hair starts. I like to kind of comb it all together so that it looks like one seamless, style. So usually, oh, I don't have my comb out here. Usually I'll take my comb. This is gonna look so awkward to hold my mirror and like be looking into the camera, but that's what I do. I hold my mirror so I can see the back of my head and I will just kind of like touch it at the top here so that it's incorporated. And I don't know how well of a job I just did because it's kind of hard to see here. This is so awkward. This is so awkward. <laughs> But I'll go ahead and do it to the other side, too. Because <laughs> do you see what I'm talking about? Like, here's the twist section, but you can see all this extra hair. It's separated right there. That looks so weird. So I'll try and just kind of make sure that hair <laughs> is married, if you will. Pull it down a little. Sorry if it's hard to hear me. My microphone is at the back of my head now. Okay, make sure it's not too fuzzy at the front now. I think that's good. Gosh. I just want it to all be one. This is so weird, don't look at my eyes, stop. <laughs> okay, that's close enough. I think you understand what I'm going for there. Now, the next thing that I will do is kind of loosen it up at the front so I don't look so like this. This is totally optional. I know some women really love to have that snatched back look. Um, for me, I feel like it makes me look like a boy. So I do prefer to kind of do a little bit of this action. Just give it a small tug. You don't want it to be too loosey-goosey because obviously it still has to be in regs and you want it to look clean and professional. Just something like that. Fluff it a little bit. Gives the hair a little bit more thickness makes it look a little bit more lived in, if you will. Um, 
but that's pretty much it. I make sure that this isn't too fit, like frizzy. And if I need to, I'll press it down if I have a little bump there, bobby pin it into the top of the twist. That way the bobby pin is hidden and you can't see what's going on. All right. At this point, you can do basically whatever you want to the remaining hair. If you prefer to do a twist bun or a donut bun, whatever bun you prefer, you can definitely do that. If your hair is short enough, you can wear it down in a ponytail just like this. Uh, if your hair is too long, I do recommend watching a YouTube video teaching you how to basically twist the hair up into itself and making it shorter, if that's something you so desire. Or uh, you can continue to twist the rest of the hair down if you want and uh, have basically an extension of the twists here into one twist at the back. I guess in theory you could do two twists down since they're technically a braid, but um, I'm not really a fan of the two braids in uniform. I think they look a little bit cheesy, but that's just my personal opinion. And if you don't like it, you don't have to listen to it. So I'm going to go ahead and twist my hair into a bun. All right, well, that's it. I do hope that this was informational for you and broken down in a way that you could easily follow. I definitely think that with more practice, your hands will get used to the movement and you will be able to achieve the hairstyle super quickly and it'll become just another one of those things that you know how to do, like the back of your hand. Is that, is that how, is that? <laughs> We're just gonna go with it, okay? So I do appreciate your time spending it here with me today. I hope to see you in the next video, but if I don't, it was nice meeting you. I hope you rock the new hairstyle. And if I do see you in the next video, well then I will see you then. So yeah. <laughs>